Yep, set to hook, he's there. Yep. So we, we traded, you guys. I've, uh, Hunter's using uh, the Herky Jerky minnow, and uh, now, I, th there you go, get him. That's a nicer fish right there, hold that up. And uh, he wanted to see what it was like, because it's a little different action on the Herky Jerky, and we'll show you that too, um, versus the slow poke. A little bit different, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah, um, On the Herky Jerky, they kind of tap it a little bit, on that slow poke, it's just you feel that weight right there. So now look at the color yeah, of that that's fish. Really cool. Look how dark he is. Now that fish is really dark because it's been in the river a long time. That's you can always tell the fish that come up. Um, they're more like this one right here. Now this fish hasn't been in the river real long, maybe a month. That fish right there has been in the river for at least three months. Yeah, that's yep, really cool. definitely a different color. That's a eater for sure. Yep, a eater for sure. Basically, let's show everybody at home how we're hooking that minnow. And shiners typically work a little bit better in the river. Um, it's always been that way, you know. You can and see all that. It's, it's, it's got that flat head on the bottom right there. And because of that, it kind of lays. Upright, yep. Right, like that. Oh, hooked up again. Now, was that when you were sliding back again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's almost every time, you guys, is when you're sliding that jig back. Ooh, there's a good one right there. Awesome right there. Again, most of these fish are, you know, in that 14 to 15 range. Um, again, you know that uh, anytime you have a lot of current in the fall, you're going to suck a lot of fish up into the system. And this far up, because we're pretty far up into the system, you're going to get a lot more males. You know, yeah. um, what happens is that when you have a lot of current, it's like a magnetic force. It sucks them fish up into the top part of the system. But yeah, awesome job. Yeah, got that slow poke smoked. Oh, you got to love right that. Awesome deal. Hey, Hunter, I'll tell you what, man. You've been working for me now for going on four years, and uh, I'm very proud you've done a great job. Um, but, you know, this is not an easy job, and a lot of people really need to know that because you put a ton of hours in, dude. Yeah, it's a lot of hours. A lot of hours and a lot of getting up early. And yeah. so, I mean, so let let me ask you, let's talk, because um, a lot of people don't get to see you. You're behind the scenes all the right. time. And so let me ask you, really, what is your favorite part about about filming an outdoor television show? Definitely the favorite part, and you say this all the time, is definitely the people we get to hang out with. I have no argument the there. Home. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, Tommy Hicks, I, I, mean, I think we went up, the week before and the week after, I actually went up there and hung out with them just to hang out, just because these guys are awesome people. Yeah, and I don't know, you know, we have since we've been doing this, we really have not fished or hunted with anybody that we wouldn't want to go back and do it again. That is the cool part about the outdoors, you know. And you know, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, um, the reason I started this show is that uh, it's just a passion for the outdoors, you know. Um, you know, I came from a, my mom and dad, not that I want to tell everybody my problems, uh, and it's really not a problem, but I came uh, from a divorced family. My mom and dad got divorced when I was 11 years old, and uh, my dad obviously, you know, was on a rampage and drinking and all that stuff, which, you know, that stuff happens, you know. Uh, and my mom um, came to me one day and said, hey, uh, if you want to continue living with me, you got to give up fishing and you'll never hunt you know otherwise i'm going to put you in a foster home and uh you know obviously i've always since i've been this high i've had the passion for the outdoors so and uh, so i went into a foster home and uh that's how i came to oshkosh and uh, it was a you know a rough go of it for a while there and uh always said that i would never uh, give up the outdoors for sure so when the opportunity came, you know, and uh, I started guiding, which, you know, really kind of started the whole flagship of everything was the guiding world. And, and uh, you know, and no doubt, you know, I got to thank uh, um, John Gillespie because uh, he definitely helped me get my start. And uh, I definitely thank him for that. Um, you know, back then, you know, that was really the main part. If you... Uh, had that golden opportunity to be able to film a show with a guy like that, um, you had a ton of business. And you know, it just, it, it went from there. And 
But, you know, I want to touch a little bit more again about, you know, growing up as it, you know, when I was growing up. And, you know, and that's where this, this saying comes. That's where I came up with the saying, uh, it's a great day to be alive because of you know, all the things that have happened to me in my past. So, game on. It's a great day to be alive. Hey, let me tell you something. If you love America and the Constitution, the Second Amendment, you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below.